Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the Leap Year book tag. So I was tagged to do this by Kaz from Cats and Camera, and this was created by Amy Myers and Melted Books. Links as usual below. There are eight questions here, and so without further ado, let's jump in. Question one, an extra day. What is one book that brought a little something extra? So for me, that would be Stoner by John Williams, basically because... I went into it pretty much blind, didn't really know what it was, and then I quickly realised, you know, it's basically the biography of a fictional character, I suppose. It follows them from, you know, birth through until death. Um, but I, I just wasn't expecting it to be as engaging as it was. It was a really pleasant surprise. Question number two, taking a big leap. What is one book that you are slash were afraid to read? That would be The Stand by Stephen King because it's massive. Um, actually, the first time I read it, I wasn't too intimidated by the size because I think I was away for a week on holiday, so I knew I'd probably finish it. But I'm due a reread of it, and I always reread via audiobook. And we're talking, I think, about 50 odd hours. Question number three Every four years, what is the fourth book you read this year? This was Snowpiercer Volume 3, the graphic novel by Bouquet and Rochette. And um, what's interesting about Snowpiercer is there are like three different issues. And they're all kind of done by three different people. Uh, the first guy, the guy who did the first edition, is actually dead as well, so. 366 days in the year. Looking at your third shelf, name the sixth book on that shelf and name the sixth book after that. Let me go and have a look. All right, so those two books are actually both Agatha Christie kind of facsimile editions. So the first is Agatha Christie, The Hound of Death and other stories. And the second is Three Act Tragedy. So there we go, that worked out pretty well. Question number five, leaping ahead, name four books that you want to read by the next leap year. Alternative, name something on your bookish bucket list that you want to complete by the next leap year. So I'm just going to grab four books from my current TBR, hang on. Okay, so those books are going to be The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell, Denial by Peter James, The Strain by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan, and Hercule Poirot's Casebook by Agatha Christie. Question number six, name a book on your TBR that has green on it. That would be Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Furr. Um, yeah, it's non-fiction, vegan propaganda basically. Hooray. Question number seven, bad luck. What bookish things do you steer clear from? So for me, I just think the drama, all of the drama that we get on bookish Twitter and stuff. I don't even really use Twitter anymore, mainly because of the drama, you know. And question number eight, tag four people. So I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to go onto my channel comments and see who has recently commented. And we'll tag, we'll tag those. Okay, I'm going to tag Alex Black Reads, Emma Rosen Books, Jason's Weird Reads, and AG McDonald. Yeah. All right, so there we have it. That's what I made of the Leap Year book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned, etc., etc. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Kept it under five minutes. Yeah.